when you're writing uh, anything in mathematics, including proof writing, you really should, I mean, this is almost like an absolute rule, you should pretty much always explain the meaning of every new symbol you introduce. The failure to do so will make your writing feel very ambiguous, unclear. It'll lead to misunderstandings, mistakes, and errors. This is on behalf of the readers who won't understand what you're writing, but also for you yourself. When you're writing, if you don't know what you're writing, then you're going to make lots of mistakes, and this can happen because you don't know what the symbols actually mean. We need to articulate them, and by doing so, uh, we can accomplish this articulation by explaining in our writing each new symbol we introduce. Now, I should say that there, while there are some situations while, where the context of your writing might be sufficient to give understanding to the symbols you're introducing, it's typically best just to be explicit in describing exactly what your symbols are. So consider the following two sentences here. Since A divides B, it follows that B is equal to AC. This is a fine sentence, but the, the symbols A and B were probably already introduced earlier in the writing, but what is this symbol C? Um, it's probably, it could be improved upon the writing by saying since A divides B, it follows that B equals AC for some integer C. It's a really good idea to specify what is this new symbol C. A and B, we already know what they are, but what is C? We should say that. Now, with regard to this divisibility symbol, in our lecture series, this is only defined for integers. So by context, we would have to infer that C is an integer. But what integer is it? Is it one we've already considered? Is it a new one? Um, so context might be enough for the reader to know what C is, but we can always improve the clarity by being explicit, by actually saying what C is. And so that brings us to the end of lecture 24. Thanks for watching. If you learned anything in this video or any of the videos in this lecture, please like them. Um, subscribe to the channel to see vi more videos like this in the future. Share these videos with friends so or colleagues so they can learn uh, about these topics too. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below and I'll be glad to answer them as soon as I can.